Opportunity Dubai. My next guest says the growing Mideast market is one of the biggest opportunities for the retail sector. Mortimer Singer, Marvin Traub, and associate CEO is here with me. And you, you just came back from Dubai. Yeah, I just got back okay. literally a few days ago. Okay, so you've gotten over the jet lag, but you say that, you know, it's not just the hotel companies, the airlines, technology, that retail is really trying to make their mark. In Dubai. Retail, absolutely. Retail is uh, is booming in that part of the world. They have probably more brands in the UAE than in most countries around the world, if not, even even in the Western countries. Uh, the UAE is, is sort of central not only to uh, the MENA region, the Middle East, North Africa region. region. It's a major hub, uh, but it's um, it's attracting people not just from the West, from mm -hmm. Russia, but also uh, from the Far East. Well, that would be the question then: is which you know, which American companies could make an opportunity work for them if they were in Dubai. Many are trying right now, but is it going to be your higher in luxury? Is it going to be your Tiffany, even your coach who's had a lot of success in China? Or is it going to be the lower tier accessory? It's brands? a good question. The, what, what we look at at, at Traub and we focus on all over the world with, with all our clients are global brands. So you take the word brand and all the intellectual property that goes with that and then have a global uh, expansion uh, around the IP that you've created. So in the case of the Middle East, Victoria's Secret is there. Uh, mm -hmm. Abercrombie & Fitch has just announced uh, that they're going there. Uh, all the mid-market guys uh, are there. When I say mid-market, I mean uh, mm -hmm. companies like Gap and Zara and H&M who have huge presences in that, in that part of the world. And, um, and luxury, obviously, given the nature of the demographic, is also uh, a huge growth area there. But you also say that, well, like you mentioned Russia really quickly, but also you're saying Eastern Europe is another hot opportunity for a lot of the big U.S. names, a lot of the retail names. I mean, I would think that that would have already been played out 20 years ago. Oh, no. The, 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 in fact, most of the ways that these companies go into emerging markets is through franchise uh, partnerships or joint ventures, which is what we uh, help them do a lot in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, Eastern Europe is absolutely something that uh, everyone is uh, eyeing. Central Asia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Saks Fifth Avenue is opened in Kazakhstan. So, you know, Kazakhstan, yes, really? So <laughs> it is, um, there's a huge market out there. When you look at the BRIC, economies, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I mean, that's a, the 22 trillion uh, mm -hmm. in, in GDPs. You know, the U.S. is about 16, so is Europe, about 16. What does that say to you, though, that, that these U.S. companies, Gap, I mean, are, are trying to expand overseas? What does that say about the U.S. consumer and the U.S. economy? Are we, are we as slow as we think we are? No, we're not. I wouldn't say we're slow. I'd say that we have, they have, vi these companies have vibrant businesses within our shores here. And, you know, it's not about having eggs in one basket. It's about seeing what, what other baskets there are to, to fill, and which there are many, in my belief. Let's talk about overall, that, that again, that luxury consumer, because what we're seeing in Dubai, we yeah. had uh, the CEO of Starwood on on Friday. What they're doing is capitalizing on the fact of the geography mm -hmm. of Dubai. It's, an, it's a transit point between China to the Americas, China to Europe. See, I've said China twice. Yes. Uh, yeah. Do you think that that, can retailers, though, get a piece of that? Besides the airports, the hotels, or oh, no Dubai. question. I mean, the largest mall in the world is in Dubai, the, uh, then, which is the, uh, the Dubai Mall. Then there's the Mall of the Emirates. The UAE, in general, as a as a uh, country, is booming. Therefore, mm -hmm. Abu Dhabi, which is the capital, which most people don't actually know, mm -hmm. uh, is now uh, going to be capitalizing on that. They have the, the new airport. They have seven billion dollars, seven million square feet foot uh, Cone Pedersen and Fox designed airport. Mm -hmm. They're bringing the airlift there. They're bringing the Louvre and the Force and the uh, and the right. Guggenheim Museum. So it's really going to be about the UAE, not just about Dubai and Abu Dhabi is really. And they're also now making a big play. Uh, the ad agencies are now spending a lot of money over there. Two market art companies. Mortimer Singer, thank you very much. Thank you very Mortimer, much for having me. Mortimer, good to have you on the show. Thanks a lot.